Hello everyone, welcome back to Review Radar. Today we're diving into a quick comparison of two remote desktop tools, any viewer and any desk. If you're working remotely, troubleshooting for clients, or just need access to another machine, these are two of the top contenders. So let's find out which one is the best for your needs. First of all, a quick intro to each tool. Any viewer is a newer remote desktop solution that focuses on simplicity and security making it beginner friendly. AnyDesk on the other hand is a more established name with robust features designed for both personal and business use. Let's talk UI. AnyViewer comes with a very clean, easy to navigate interface. It's straightforward ideal for users who don't want to deal with a steep learning curve. AnyDesk offers a more feature-rich interface, but that can sometimes feel cluttered. If you like having advanced options at your fingertips, this will appeal to you. Now, how do they perform? Any viewer performs smoothly with a minimal lag in most scenarios. It's well optimized for basic tasks like file transfers and screen sharing. Any desk excels when handling more complex tasks like remote printing, high quality screen sharing, or handling multi-monitor setups thanks to its lower latency and higher stability under load. Both tools offer solid security. Any viewer uses end-to-end -end encryption and they've made it easy to set up secure connections. AnyDesk also provides end-to-end -end encryption, but it goes a step further with customizable security settings, which are great for IT admins or businesses. So in terms of pricing, AnyViewer has a free tier and a professional yearly for $3.59. And AnyDesk has standard for €30, Euros, advanced and solo. You can see the respective pricing. So in a conclusion, which one should you choose, guys? If you want something simple, easy to use and free, any of you is a solid choice, especially for personal use. But if you need more advanced features, faster performance and enterprise level control, then any desk is worth the investment. That wraps up our comparison, guys. Let me know in the comments which one you choose or if you're already using one. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech reviews, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.